Welcome to the sixth session on the MicroFocus TrueWeb protocol. In this video, we will learn how to add parameter data to the script and use the data in the script via the new TrueWeb SDK. Parameters are external static values that can be distributed among the virtual users and then used during the script execution. Let's see what is returned in the body of the login attempt. We will set return body to true and print out the response body to the console. We can see that the login was successful. Now let's move the username and password to a parameters file. Create the data file in the script directory. Name it data.txt. Note that any file name can be used. The first line defines the column names and then each line contains the data for each column. Each column usually represents a parameter in the script. Let's add our username and password to the file. Now we need to define the parameters for our script via the parameters YAML file. We can select any name for the parameter. This name will be used in the script code. Change the file name property to data.txt. Match the column name to what appears in the data.txt file for this parameter. We want the password parameter to match the username parameter, therefore we will make sure that the next row selection is the same as the username. We use the parameter name here and not the column name within the data file. The body property was generated with backticks, therefore we can use the JavaScript string literals feature to inject our parameter value directly. Every time a parameter is assigned a value, a message with the parameter name and the assigned value is printed to the console at the info log level. Let's make sure that the login was successful. We can see that it was, and we have the login token to be used in further requests. Thank you for watching this video about using parameters in a true web script. You are invited to watch our next video about correlations.